Actually, before TB gets level 20, the PO matchup is actually quite fine. Because then you can actually watch out for the reflection, you know, you just oh, wait until he casts it, or maybe he's even low enough that you just go in anyway. Because TB does have problems dealing with illusions if he doesn't have reflection up. It's, uh, it's quite a long downtime. I think it's 11 seconds without the talent. 11 or 10 seconds. Bounty Hunter. That's your one hero to find the cuddle. And this is gonna be an awfling tiny, isn't it? I don't even know their player names. Somnus is mid, isn't it? So it's gonna be awfully Omnite. I was thinking too much about VP. I put Omnite mid one time. Mm. Did, they, did they lose that game? I don't remember. It was the butterfly Omnite. I don't remember if they won or lost. So mid tiny for sure with these items. F Y didn't give him tiny. Doesn't know he can do it in strategy phase now. He's new players. Never read patch notes. Who's gonna win? Well, according to this, the draft is quite even. And I have to admit, it is quite even. Reflection only targets one hero this game, and it's PL. Dragonite doesn't really care. Razor doesn't really care, and supports rarely care. Cause you know here. You're gonna make a illusion of a support. Haha, <laughs> I hit you for 30 damage. No, right? No, I thought it's walking that way. It's like, hmm. This ward doesn't see anyone except for the razor that just walked away. My root now. This ain't no Bounty, maybe fight. trying to borrow here? Can he? No. Nope. Oh, he does! He does get it! I thought it was too far away. And I'm pretty sure this dust doesn't last long enough for him to die either. So he got, he got the rune and he lives. And now he's also in position to kill the courier. That doesn't necessarily mean that he gets to kill the courier, but that does mean that Mike still doesn't get to use the courier because he has to make sure that he doesn't die to Bounty Hunter. And he's just chilling here. Can't get his solve out. Or he can't even get his solve because he, his team didn't get the bounty rune. Yeah, so he's chilling here anyway. Not sure why, because they got three runes, that means he can't buy a solve. You know, you only have 80 gold. 100 now, he can buy it just now. Oh, oh, CS. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching his CS closely. Okay, he got three out of four. I'm done here. Oof. This is, this is why you hate playing against Bounty as a caller. If he's on your lane, he will beat the shit out of you. And you can't do anything about it. Because your advantage as the cuddle is walking away really fast. You have 355 movement speed with just wind lace. But that doesn't matter if he's right on top of you with Invis. You always have to run away from Bounty so that he's gonna hit you three times. Every single time he does that. There's nothing you can do alone as a, as a cuddle. Anyway, he's going for it again. Or maybe borrowing some XP. XP you know, free XP right here. Take, 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 man. You know, is, is that your XP? I take half now. I'm just being here. So, yeah. LGD feeling comfortable on their matchups that are solo right now. So, Tiny versus DK. Tiny Eid. 2 poison 3 toss. Seems to be common against DK. I just hope he doesn't go 1, 2, 3. And then it's, uh... Yeah. This over here. Go bottle wash on Omni Knights. Oh. 
Thanks, Mr. Graham. Yes, his entire build planned out. He's going bottle, in fact. Interesting, interesting. Bottle tiny is kind of weird in this patch. I feel like if you go bottle tiny, you have to play active. Oh, it's going looks one, like one, two. I'm curious to see if he's gonna completely max out this E spell or if he's gonna. Go back to nukes after two or three points of the tree. Whoa. Oh, they're switching lanes. Huh. Guess it's because Miracle also switched lanes and they want to keep mashing the, the Omnite versus PL. Too bad they just fucked the Omnite like this just now. Haha, <laughs> thanks to the lane swap nerds. Thanks for the lane swap, nerds. Oh. oh, one hit. Oh, now GH dies for the swerving. No, he doesn't. He's level 1 metamorph or what? No, level 2. He's minus 10 million damage because of Razor Link. Oh, oops, it. Now he turns. Why is Ark Warden not so popular amongst pro players? Well, that's simple because Ark Warden needs a lot of time. And in uh, professional games, sometimes you don't get to have time. If your opponent plays very active, you might just lose the game in 20 minutes, and Ark Warden needs 30. Actually went one two two. All right, I don't know this hero anymore. I don't know this hero anymore. Or maybe he holds it in two points. That would make sense. Go blink. No. But he also went bottled, didn't he? Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck? Bottle tiny one, two, two. I'm really trying to find some reasoning here, but I... I can't. Oh. Oh, my feet again. What sort of GH? Maybe. Hmm? Yeah, it's Glimps. I use Glimps maybe already. Got it. Two points in toss. <sighs> Just time this game. I don't get the two points in toss. You oh. I don't think you would have lived, Radiant but you could have delayed a little bit longer. Structures. Radiant's top tower is under attack. He's going 2-2-2. Two, two, two. I doubt that he's going 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Nah, no, he's going for max toss. It makes a lot more sense. Now, now, now it makes a lot more sense. I was thinking like if he goes 1-2-3, then it doesn't make any sense. 
Because then you wouldn't go bother at all. Then you definitely go Aquila. But if you go max nukes after two points in tree grab, then it does make sense. I think 144 build is really good. It's either 144 or you go 414. Bottle though, that I just I just don't like this item. I think bottle is just a I docked here. I know. Too reliant on getting runes. He might have gone for two points for a lower cooldown. I can tell that maybe he's also not a tiny player. Maybe. That's why tiny players put more points in toss than usual. Because they can't toss? Nah. Nah, it makes sense because I mean, you don't have the mana to stay in toss early. And then once it gets baller, he starts maxing out his W. Still though, in this patch, I think I prefer maxing Q over, over W. It's not much. Especially against melee matchups. Oh, 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 oh. Scary as shit. Toss has lower cooldown versus Avance, it's true. But also, Avance scales. With uh, scales of cooldown with every level. On top of that, it doubles in damage if you combo them. I take toss every time if I'm facing a, a lot of ranged matchups, but if I'm facing a bunch of melee heals, especially cores, then I, then I go for avalanche for sure. Four hits, three to four hits. Radiance bottom tower's got problems. No muscle, no toss. Yeah, feels bad, man. Regeneration is under attack. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. GH. I think you're dead here, son. Feels bad, man. Not important enough to use spells on. You're so insignificant, your opponents just fought you another lane creep. Such is life. Positioning. Yeah, hmm. Or does he make it? As a glimpse, yep. A little bit questionable. So he goes back for the nukes after two points in three for all. Okay. Uh, actually, it makes sense for this build against Dragonites. Because you're not really using nukes anyway in, at level three. You could use like an avalanche or a toss, maybe a, like a level two nuke, but. You get to use like two of them at most. I don't like that build that mid one does, where he maxes uh, three grab right away. Like he goes like one four four, but he's oh, he he goes like he maxes it first too. Like he skips it over toss and stuff. At least the two games I saw. I like this one. Maybe he missed it on three toss or three grab. No, he didn't. I just I think uh, one point and three grab is just better than 
one extra point on any nuke against a Dragonite at least, because last hitting is more important than killing in that lane. Because you're not getting a Dragonite unless you have two heroes rotating in for you at all times. Oh. Oh my god, I didn't even see that he had a blink. Miracle, miracle, miracle. Gets fucking wrecked. Destroyed. Not even close actually to surviving. There's a bounty hunter there too. There's another extra 200 damage or so. The one thing I question is this this bottle. I don't think this bottle was necessary at all for what he did in this game. I mean, Aquila was better in almost every single way. It's a little bit more expensive, but you know, you get like way more stats. Ooh, expensive death, man! And he also lost dragon form? No, he didn't lose dragon form, it was almost over. So at least he doesn't lose dragon form for this. Like a fresh one. He got, he got top tower from it. Kuro has a TP ready. Blink ready on Tiny. Has it now. I think they'll just find him right away. Yeah. He's... He's kill. At least Bounty wasn't level 6 for the track kill. Oh my god. He's so close. Soaring better than Bottle. Not if you're facing a Dragonite. The thing is, against Dragonite with almost every single matchup in the game, is that you just kind of, you don't get to kill Dragonite. <laughs> GH, by the way. Did a glimpse back here, what the fuck? Yeah, you don't get to kill Dragonite, so you have to play for CS. That's why the three grab build is okay, and that's why I also think Aquela is better than, uh, uh, better than, say, Bottle or Soaring. Soaring can be okay if you're going for new- oh, doesn't have punch. It can be okay if you're going for nukes and use that to CS, but you know, in this patch, getting a point in tree grab is just better. You get slightly less cooldown and you do slightly more damage. It doesn't say here, but it's like 10% more damage and I think it's 4 seconds cooldown per level. What's the build against TB when you play PL? Well, what you could do is you go for no stat items. Instead, you go for... Uh, Shadow Blade plus Nullifier and all that garbage. But it doesn't look like he's doing it. He's going for S and Y first. I, I, I don't know about this, man. Yeah. At least he's not going to Fizzle Blade like an idiot like I did before. Thanks, Mr. Alon. He wouldn't be able to roam as much of a Krayla. It's true, but even then. Even then. I, even now, I don't feel the bottle has done that much. Axe versus PLTB. The Axe on PL sometimes sounds pretty nice. But then you build it and it's complete garbage. Like, whoa, look at me. I summon illusions everywhere and I clear keep waves in one second and then you have an axe peel and I go, end my life. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, it's, maybe I'm just hitting on Bolo too much. Bad experience with the item. Never lucky with runes. And every time I get one, it's, it's fucking illusion. <laughs> oh god, let's go. TP's forced. Not bad at all. Two TP's forced down here. Tiny goes top immediately. Goes for the razor kill, possibly. Yeah, there's a troll clip ready as well. It's dominated on. No, wait, what is this? It's just a fucking. What is. What? How do you pull like one out of the two clips on the camp? <laughs> the fuck? Glimpse just to make sure. I think it was enough anyway, but you know, why risk when you don't have to? Glimpse is ready again anyway in like 10 seconds. 
has a toss back here, so he's probably fine. I even has a blink ready. Didn't get a hit off on my Duma dog. Nova. Scowling them, feeling them out. Hmm. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Show networks. I don't think networks are that relevant. Right? Oops. I don't think networks are that relevant right now. It's only 2k advantage. No one's really exceptional right now. Getting recalled top. That's all five top, I think. Yeah, it's all five heroes top for liquid. Ooh, one HP. Now it's only four heroes top. Miracle, though, don't give a fuck. Has a W? Yes, he does. Dodges the glimpse. No disrupt ult already here. But all the defensive spells are coming out. Oh, oh, oh. He even saves him a little bit by tossing him away. But Miracle doesn't care. He has a heal right in one sec. Oh my god, one second for the heal. I think if Omen had healed that, this would have been a complete disaster. Sort of like this, but with a heal on top of it. Yeah, kind of like that. Oh, misses the stun. But maybe Bounty Hunter can solo kill Miracle here. He needs one hit. There's another W in the second as well. He done. And he eyed. Completely eyed. Didn't try to juke at all. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, got him there, Miracle. Got him. <laughs> that wasn't obvious at all. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, so buyback on Omnite coming out there. Big win for Liquid. Buy back too. All they got was Razor. <laughs> that you can handle. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Radiance Middle Tower could use some help. Beating on Dyer's top tower. Oh. Ooh, if Bounty scouts out this smoke, that would be Dyer's the ideal tower? situation for LGD. Just like that. Five man rotation, including a smoke, to kill a bounty hunter. Unless they get Tiny here, it's, it's pretty sad. Yeah, Tiny's aware. They showed in, the, in his own jungle, so he goes towards top. Liquid goes for mid tower, of course. That's the only tower available for them right now. How can the TB deal with the PL late game, son? I think he got it the wrong way around. How does PL deal with TB late game? Because the answer is you can't. You have to jump the TB before it gets reflection off. Once. Radiant just yeah. denied their middle And Liquid's lockdown is not that good. They have a DK stun, and that's really about it. It may be a punch in the snowball follow-up, but it's kind of wonky. No. That's some pretty good feed. That's a track kill too, I think. Yeah, I, he I heard the track somewhere. I think it was on him. It's only here nearby. It's good feed. <laughs> he got the ward too. Yeah, I think this is where you call GG. Oh, okay. Okay, some extra feed. Why not, right? Why not? It's free money. All I have to do is take it. Just pocket it. He didn't track? He didn't track? There's, there's no way he didn't track. I thought I heard a track. Okay, so this is where the bounty dies. Yada yada. Okay, he didn't track. It was Jinala that I heard.
dollar PC or indie company? Which one is it? Is it both? Two dollar PC plus indie company? Oh, oh, messy. <laughs> Whatever, we don't got him. Yeah, by the way, in the time that I crashed, Miracle and Dragonite just passed away somewhere middle. And then they walked towards bottom. Boom. Three barracks, by the way. Maybe not barracks. Only tower, possibly. Uh, not sure yet. All the cores are alive now. It's only GH Dog that's dead. Oh. Matumba TP in? And then he buys back after the Rex goes down? Tiny casually TPs out in front of 20 heroes even though he could have stayed and fought? Thanks, Mr. Asazel. Yeah, he's, he's apologizing. He's like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Relax, you're doing fine. Sorry. He understood his mistake. Yeah, very, very interesting play right there, Mr. Matumba. Sorry again. Oh, shit. He feels, man. He feels for his team. He's like, ah, oh, shit, guys. Don't fucking pizza party me right now. It was one mistake. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He didn't TP and got tossed in. I mean, if he got tossed in, then he was in range of the tiny. That's still shit positioning. He's in range of the tiny before his team was ready to defend. In China, that's a dumpling party. Ah, <laughs> shit. Take them out for some long pal. So you know some shit is happening. Oh, fuck, man. Oh. <laughs> Is he, is he dead, huh? Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Mighty Belagar. Win rate and net worth? Nah, I, I don't want him to take that. I speak the Cantonese, I do. I do speak Cantonese. Matumba man net worth. Yeah, don't don't look at I'm moving this away. Oh my god, don't look at Matumba man's net worth. Don't Google it, don't bing it, don't ask Jeeves. It's not pretty. My god, it's not pretty. Jesus Christ. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. Oh, fuck, I have to look. Ah, I looked! Are those crabs Don't look again! Ah, away! And KDA instead. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Oh my god, it's 2 and 6! Fantasy points! Power. Okay, that's better. That's better. Dyer's top tower. Mm, let's hope LG doesn't fall now. Well, guess what, buddy? Just Their chances to fall here behind. slim. Oh, <laughs> he fucked up. Doesn't matter though. Trying to juke. Killing spree. Oh, but it doesn't matter. 
nothing matters. Meanwhile, trying to initiate on a tower blade, but on tower blade, like, no, I initiate on you now. I have a blink dagger, by the way. Yeah. Fantasy points are still a thing. I don't think fantasy points matter until a battle pass comes out. Fear not heresy. In fact, are they even gonna do battle passes? This is gonna be be dollar plus forever now. Oh my god! Why is both Dragonite and Razor on the same network? I am in your debt. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Luna. Thank you, Encanto Nice. Is Liquid out of the tournament? No. The Liquid is now in the loser brackets. China number one. Come on, best as game is up. Yeah, I, I don't even have to look. And you're you're banned for one hour now, kid. See you in an hour. Why is every game so stompy? I actually don't know, dude. Why is every game so stompy? I think talents have a big part to do with it. Once you're ahead in XP, uh, XP and gold, because they kind of go hand in hand since you farm creeps and heroes, you stay ahead far because you just get this power spike at 10 and 15, 20, you know, it's hard to come back. When you're a bunch of level 15 to 16 heroes and you're fighting level 20 heroes, those team fights are rough. Slowly becoming League of Legends? Maybe. <laughs> I don't think uh, Ice Frog is that type of balancer though. Whereas League of Legends tends to nerf heroes all the time. In Dota 2, he just buffs all the heroes to fucking god levels and then everything is balanced again. It's way more fun to play that way too. Still not interested in casting or doing anything as a Dota personality. You see, the thing about becoming a Dota personality and going to panels as analysts and stuff is that why would I go to an event to do it when I can just do it from home? On my own stream instead of other people's streams. And make less money, yeah. Like, what the fuck? I'm doing it alone? <laughs> Why would I do it with other people? I'm a hermit anyway, man. I'm completely fine and content by myself. I have the company of my dog and you guys. I get to travel and see my friends. Well, guess what, dude? If I do this myself from home, I can just travel to places anyway by myself and still see my friends. 
and I don't have to wear pants. How do I rate this tiny? It's pretty good, man. I mean, look at this 10 0 13. Highest damage dealt in the entire game by far. Not even close, man. The closest one is what? 14? I think it's 14k. Yep. That's some good shit. It helps that his team went aggressive trialing and that Team Liquid fought them back with an aggressive trialing. Because what happens then is that you have a bunch of shitters that are walking around level 4 and 5 when your tiny is level 8. And that is the best feeling in the world when enemies are just dying within your combo. You know, instead of having like say, 2 versus 2 lanes or some guys jungling or some shit. Then you have high level heroes all over the map. But no, 3 versus 3, you have low level shitters everywhere. And that's perfect for tiny. Especially since the game was a little bit slow. You know, he also got his point in 3 toss. He got good runes. He got a regen at some point. I think he got a... Was it a haste? It's not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. How do I rate the Razor? Mm, kinda looks like my Razor. It's similar. Very similar. My god. Da, da, da. Fox snack has invited you to a Yo party. Yo, Maggie's like a masse. When I was infested with cold, never come out. Three ido un tave and go all puns left. That's not even a pun. What the fuck, dude? Just like that out of nowhere. Where's the vlog with Voxnack? Well, he couldn't go to China, man. He couldn't go at all.
Seven minutes left till game. Perfect. I wanted to chill anyway. Toby is calling me out. Why is he doing this? Why is Toby doing this? I didn't do anything wrong. Will I be going to ESR Birmingham? No. Why would I go to this Brexit country at all? Been there so much too in the last two years. Four times or so. What do you call dark terror with no land of arm? Spatial is void. Oh my god. Oh my god. How many people are gonna get banned for this? Yeah, good luck, kids. This is his fault. Donkey Knight. Thanks, mister. Who hurt you? Da, da, da. Who are those boy tank for el pink in the game? Is more man died. Thanks, Mr. Ivaco. Favorite dim sum dish? Hmm. Hmm. Probably song, song, song. Play yeah. this song. It's nice. Isn't it just another normie song? I fucking knew it. How did I guess it?
U i do korean slike brod moteron li 5 uv 5 mil? Be kause itis brod duar. Oh my god! It's worse now because it's it's gaming related. So he's probably thinking of them himself. Apu 19 months bre. Avi u arti new emanchi patar album. I have not heard of the new album. I'll play it after this song. I think the bands have been gone, gone for so much that I broke Edmund's bot. It's not working anymore. Da, da, da. Why did Lone Druid leave the hard lane? He couldn't bear it. <sighs> the same people got timed out multiple times? Well, that sucks for them. I think Emmons bot broke. It fucking I I spam banned so much it overheated his Pentium 4. Ah fuck! Plus one easy ban, eight hours. Why does Ricky need dust made? Because he can't handle dust. Also, how does Morphling greet someone? He waves smile. I hate everyone. At least I can ban him in chat. Well, if he make this a cock as myself, what the hell am I supposed to do without friends? Prepare. No friends. No friends at all. Oh, I love Emancipated. I haven't listened to them in a long while. <laughs> but I, I know what you feel, man. No friends. Can't break your heart if there's no one to break it in the first place. No friends at all. Da, da, da. Whatever happened to the chat spammer mod sync sync? I'm pretty sure he's still there, but spamming on their random account names. Eric is right there! He's just called Sing Sink! Right there, dude! <laughs> what the fuck? 